Oh, I didn't know you could do that. What? Generic intro in the deck goes we're here back with another bonus TF2 videos. This was suggested by Ender Builder, who's a, a longtime viewer of this channel and my gaming channel where I play Team Fortress 2. But today we're watching A Beginner's Guide to Training and the Economy by the Virtual Economist. He has been a longtime suggested uh, content creator that I need to watch learning about the market at TF2 because I'm super interested in that. I was super into that when CSGO was like really, really popular. I, I just am fascinated by the market. Like I do invest in stocks and stuff like that. So I love this kind of stuff. Uh, that's why the video is like a couple seconds in because I had to click on a link because he linked it in a other video but you can check out my last video which was going deep as medic by banny i'll leave that video right there also link down the description also play this on my channel with all the my other team fortress 2 videos i'm a relatively new player i have a gaming channel where i play team fortress 2 and the videos come out super super great i think tomorrow's video is probably going to be uh jump academy again because you all loved me stressing and raging at the first time I played Jump Academy. So today I think we're gonna do a different map, but we're gonna learn about the economy. I'm super excited about that. Shout out to the patrons down below. They love it to not have a paywall on the channel and uh, they get the videos a day early. But shout out to everybody that watches these videos. Leave a comment down below because I love reading them and I hope you're having a great day. But let's go ahead and jump on into this video so we can learn a thing or two. Own a large TF2 backpack filled with your dream cosmetics, unusuals, and Australiums. Okay. Have you ever wanted to do this without spending hundreds of dollars on TF2? If you answered yes to either of these uh, yeah, okay. questions, I think everybody then TF2 would trading do that. might just be for you. That said, I'll be the first to admit that getting into trading can seem like daunting voice. to beginners. After oh, there's all, so much to know. where do you start? How do you know I'm what a items new are player, good? If How much new money channel, should you invest in the first place? Fortunately, that's where this in the video comes Interesting. In. Well, this video I think the video is about to get revived. To help get perspective traders like yourselves into the incredible world of trading, I've created two full-length guides to the economy. In this first video, I'll teach you guys about the fundamentals of TF2 trading, such as currencies, item types, and how to yeah. price your items. Then, in the second video, okay. I'll talk about how you can apply the what you've learned exist. in this video like to start making profit for yourself using techniques that are guaranteed to work in today's market. But I think as Thus, everybody does without it, it further ado, let's get right on into the video. Right? Part 1. Getting your account ready. If you want to get into trading, ready. the very first thing you'll have to do so many is make sure you nice have stuff. a premium like, thank TF2 you to account. Everybody. When you first have one of those. the game, you'll have a free-to-play account, which will prevent <laughs> you from trading any of the items in your inventory. To upgrade to a premium account, you simply need to buy something from the Manco store. I think I Please, bought a however, key or something. Please, however, be careful here. The vast majority of Why? weapons, cosmetics, and taunts in the Manco Can store for free. are complete ripoffs designed to fool inexperienced players into spending far like more than they should on cheap items. One item that is not a ripoff, however, a is the Manco Supply Crate Hey, key, that's what I did. Which, Apparently it was as I'll explain idea. later, is one of the primary currencies in trading. Yep. Thus, if I don't you think want you to start trade trading money. with a reasonably small a investment, you should put $5 into regulated. your Steam account and buy exactly one key for around $2.70. I hate that there's tax. tax. Next, I hate you that. should set up I your Steam so profile much. to make it easy for one. others to trade with Pisses you. Me off. To do this, click Edit Profile and go to My Privacy Settings. Here you should make sure to set your Steam profile to public, as well as your friends list, inventory and profile comments so that others can see what items you are trading and can get into contact with you more easily you should also navigate to trading, trade, link down below trade offers and click you, you can to. send me really trade don't. offers at the bottom of this page you will find yeah. your trade offer url which and is a link that allows other people to trade don't, with you even if they're anything. not friends with you on steam I recommend me copying this link and putting it into your profile description so it is easy for others to find Finally, if you haven't done it already, you should set up your Steam Guard mobile authenticator. You'll need the mobile authenticator yeah, to confirm that. trades from your phone, so you should download the Steam app on your phone and set this up. For security reasons, you'll have to wait 15 days after setting this up before That's you can annoying. start trading, so okay. you should do this as soon as possible. Once the 15 like right days now. are up, you are ready to start trading. Maybe I'll learn Part two, a thing or two about engaging this. in a trade. Now that your account is set up, you might want to start trading people. There are two ways you can do that within TF2. First, you can send somebody a trade offer. Or you can have somebody trade offers allow you to choose what items. From hey, your somebody backpack actually just sent me that like, like last week. Else's. When you complete the offer, I love the, the other party will the be notified of the trade request, loadout. and it becomes up to them to accept the offer, decline the offer, or send you back a counter offer. Trade offers oh. are a convenient way to make trades because both people don't need to be online at the same time. We send a trade a... offer to a friend on Steam. 
Go to their Steam profile, time? and under the More button, click Offer a Trade. To send an offer to someone outside of your friends list, you need to locate their trade offer URL. If it isn't on their Steam profile like I suggested site? you do for yours, most trading websites will link you to it if you click the right button. The second way of trading is okay. through a live trade. This will typically be well, done yeah, in-game. When you're on a server, go to Items, Trading, Current Server, and then choose the person you want to trade with. If they oh, accept your request, I didn't know you'll then be able to discuss that. the details what? of the trade with the other party and add and remove items in real time, making so it very to, like, easy to negotiate with the other it? person. Part 3. Currencies. Just like in the okay. real world, most TF2 items are bought and sold using currency. In TF2, Collect there are two currency. currencies, keys and metal. These two currencies are commonly referred to as pure. Let's take a look at keys first. Okay, never heard that keys one before. These can be purchased from the Manco store for around $2.50 each. However, depending on where you buy them, you can often get them for less than two fifty. dollars While the price of keys are always why? fluctuating, why if you buy them on the Steam community market, you like, can typically you, get them for around $2.10 to $2.40. If you buy why them would, directly why? for real money without going through Steam, you can pick them up for why around 170 to 190 which is actually a really good deal. Keys, of course, why can be used to off? unbox crates, but I'd highly recommend against yeah, doing do so, that. since you are almost certainly guaranteed to lose money. Yeah, no In general, gamble. keys are used as the currency for mid- and high-tier items. For items worth less what than 250 metal, metal, metal is used instead. Okay. Someone In this sense, me, I think, like keys are like the dollar metal. bills of the economy, and metal is like cents, allowing traders to make up partial denominations of a key. In TF2, ah. there are three types of metal. From largest to smallest, they are refined metal, Reclaim metal and scrap metal. As determined oh. by the in game crafting system, one refined metal is equal to three reclaim metal, one reclaim metal is equal to three scrap metal, and one scrap okay, metal is equal reason. to two regular weapons. For simplicity, Wait, people normally weapons? shorten the names of refined metal and reclaim metal to ref and rec instead. Denominations yeah, of metal are represented using decimals based and on these crafting weapons. Recipes. are a third. Or one two. refined metal is equal to 1.00. One reclaim metal is equal to 0 0.33, one scrap metal is equal to 0 0.11, and one regular yeah. weapon is equal to 0 0.05. If someone is selling an item for 1.77, that would mean that they are selling the item for one refined metal, two reclaim one, metal, yeah. and one scrap metal, which totals to 1.77. Huh. You'll find you'll have to make these decimal conversions me how almost to read. every trade, which might seem daunting to some of you. That said, nah, that's as cool. you I didn't, uh, yeah, that helps trading, a lot, actually. I guarantee that these conversions will become second nature to you, so I wouldn't worry about them all too much in the beginning. Although there is a fixed exchange rate between metal denominations, there is not a crafting recipe between refined metal and keys. Yeah, so the this two totally causes different the things. price of keys and metal, dubbed the key to refined ratio, to always be in flux, dictated yeah. by the market. Back when the economy first started out, Interesting. keys used to be worth 2.33 metal. These days, How however, are now? keys are it's worth, worth like over nothing. 50 refined. The reason for Why? this drastic change is More actually quite playing? simple. Since random weapon drops are given to players yep. for free and can themselves be crafted into refined metal, the so supply it's of metal has to only increased down. over the years. Yeah. At the same time, the number of keys in existence has remained roughly the same, causing refined metal to lose value relative okay. to that of the key. This high key uh, price has made trading like low purpose, value items obviously. more difficult than it used to be, but I'll talk more about that in the second video. Part 4. Item Types this TF2 is, this has is thousands of like distinct this. This is fun. items. One way to distinguish one item from another is through item qualities. The most basic yeah. item quality is the normal quality, which is reserved for stock items or the items you which start out you with can't in really the game. Trade. Next, the yellow unique quality is sort of like the default item quality, and it simply unique. represents a standard common item. Keys and metal, for example, so have the unique mm. quality. The orange strange quality is for items that track your kills. Stat Apart tracks. from recording kills, however, these items look exactly the same as their unique, as unique. counterparts yeah. and are functionally identical. Further, okay. the vintage, and genuine, collectors, and haunted qualities are all functionally identical to the unique quality as well, as their okay. qualities only represent how they were obtained. Some okay. items may also Dude, have an uncraftable variant of a quality as well, which is an identical oh, item that really? cannot be used in the in-game crafting system. Do you know, however, that although a different quality really or craftability item 
may look the same, a single item will have a different price for each version. Well, yeah. Up next, we Even have the signature the same, purple so. unusual quality. This Unusuals, quality yes. is reserved for extremely rare just hats, gave me an unusual hat or weapons up. with a special particle effect. Like many items, unusuals can be unboxed from crates or cases. However, Which they only like drop 1 about one percent of the time, yeah. and as Not such, are it. extremely expensive, ranging from about ten dollars to over ten thousand dollars. These days, even higher, high I tier trading like is almost 000. exclusively dedicated to trading unusual items, which I'll talk about extensively in the second video. The final right. item quality worth mentioning here is the is... decorated quality, the item quality reserved for weapon skins. TF2's uh, weapon skins were functionally yeah. ported from CSGO, and like hey, CSGO, they game. have five different wares, which Don't represent how it. scratched up the item looks. From least yeah, scratches to most wear, scratches, the wares are battle scarred, <laughs> well worn, field tested, minimal wear, and factory new. In and general, like factory new skins values. are more desirable than minimal wear skins, which are more desirable than field tested skins, and so on and so forth. You'll find that Scout most Lord. low value items, such as weapon drops, taunts, hats, and cosmetics, have the unique quality. These are the most basic types of items you can buy and sell, and although some of yeah, these items the are cheapest. also available yeah. in other qualities, like strange or genuine, these items are largely seen as the same in the eyes of most traders. They all sell well okay. and are generally worth less than a couple of keys. Other low value items are slightly different. Add ons, like for example, are items that can be applied to other items. For instance, okay. paints are items that can be applied to cosmetics to paint oh. them a different color. Strange <laughs> Lime parts, Green kill streak kits, and festivizers can be applied to weapons to track specific stats, record oh. kill streaks, and add festive lights, respectively. Spells are rare items that, when knife? applied, show a particular effect during Halloween. Strange oh, fires make an Halloween? item strange. You'll find How that add-ons generally add value they're to the expensive. item they're applied to, but this value varies widely depending on what the add-on is. Spells, yeah. for example, can often make a low-tier cosmetic worth a couple of keys, whereas an undesirable paint may only add a couple of yeah. refined. In general, though, yeah. it is important to realize that add-ons are most desirable before they are applied, as once yes, bound course, to a particular item, they lose most, if not all, of their value. Finally, it's worth mentioning item grades. I have an Australian all weapon skins and new on. cosmetics have grades, <laughs> which are hat. simply indicators of how I'll rare the item types. is. In TF2, there are six grades. From most common to most rare, the grades are as follows. Civilian yeah. grade, freelance grade, mercenary grade, commando grade, Assassin grade and elite grade. I've never seen these grades before. Items with the first two grades have primarily been used for contract. Oh, rewards, never done any contracts. Whereas that the latter four grades are found in most cases, having drop rates uh, of about eighty percent, fifteen percent, three percent, and around one percent, respectively. So what it's can like be CSGO. About kind grades of. Because you can get like uncommon like item drops quality in game, despite so simply being a rarity case. indicator. While this is something you'll have to get used to over time, I do wish that grades didn't have colors associated with them, as it is all too easy to confuse a commando grade item with an unusual. Regardless, oh, let's wow, move on to how really to price similar. items. Part 5. Pricing your items. That's probably the website just go online somewhere.tf yeah. is the primary website you should use to price There's a lot of stuff. items. Because you can also so use the site to inspect player inventories, make Stocks. classified listings, and engage in trading discussion, Backpack.tf is the single most important website you'll the use for trading. For you. If you go to the Backpack.tf homepage, the very first thing you will see are the currency how prices. Much? Oh my. At the time of this video, you can see that a what key is, is that worth on the 57 right? refined, and refined metal is worth 4 cents. Back in the day, earbuds were once a currency too, used Wait, for what? unusual trading. However, as they are no longer a currency anymore, you can safely Two ignore months their ago? price. If you oh, need a price check earbuds? an item, go really? up to the search bar and type it in. Then, you just need to find the item's quality, which can be identified by Ooh. the different colors, and click on it. This will take you to the item stats page, where you can see basic information about the item, including its price, and what people are currently buying and selling it for. If you encounter huh. an item anywhere else on the website, you can view its price simply by hovering over the item yeah, graphic. Yeah, will tell you. Here you will also find helpful links to the item's ownership history, stats page, classifieds page, and more. Now, even if you're only looking for buyers and sellers, I would advise you to I'm always impressed. click on the stats button instead of the classifieds. 
This is because the classifieds wow. are actually built into the stats page. So oh. by clicking stats, you will not you only be able to see the buyers as, and sellers, but also see additional information like the item's rarity and price history, which can be extremely valuable in the case of rarer items like unusuals. Mm. Speaking of unusuals, if you need a price check in an unusual item, you need to instead go what if to pricing, it's like such a rare price by unusual, item, and filter for the item and particle effect that you are looking for. Or Keep in mind that market. unusuals are sorted by price, and the more expensive unusuals at the top of the page are typically more desirable than the unusuals at the bottom Why? of the page. Why if you want to look up your Just entire unusuals inventory at desirable. once, you can log into backpack.tf with Steam and hit Talks. My Backpack in the top right hand corner. Once loaded, you'll get a helpful oh. estimate of your backpack value, and you can oh, hover really? over each item to see its I price. I need to do this. As you will quickly find out, Steam servers are okay. notoriously unreliable and will often cause yeah. your backpack to fail to load properly. In these cases, backpack.tf will try fallback. and show you a fallback inventory, which is simply an older version of your I backpack might do that, saved like, from a right previous after I'm recording. date. Well, you can always refresh the page to try and get the most up-to-date version of your inventory, do note that you may have to wait hours or even days for your backpack to load properly. Thank you, Steam. <laughs> also, old backpacks display your items in a random order, so if you need to find what you're looking for a little it? bit more easily, you should apply one of the backpack sorts oh, okay. found here. By it's value. important to realize Fair. that all prices on backpack.tf are community-suggested uh. prices. If someone sees enough people selling a certain item for a particular mm. price, they can suggest a price change, which is what you see it's at the bottom of every stats page. As you can tell, some suggestions get accepted if they have good evidence of sales, and others do not if they don't have any evidence. At all times, That's you need to really remember neat. that backpack.tf is just like that a price before. guide. Items can be sold for higher or lower it's than their backpack.tf exactly the price, and that is to be expected. After all, if people can sell their like item at a different price than backpack.tf, it simply means that someone needs to create a price suggestion to adjust the item accordingly. The last thing I should mention about pricing items is that not every item can be priced on backpack.tf. Why can't that? The most notoriously unpriceable items are weapon skins, but other items include killstreak oh. kits and strangifiers. To price check these items, you should check to see if the item is sold recently on the Steam Community Market or on marketplace.tf a popular so, website for Markiplier. selling items .tf. directly for real money. Most items on backpack.tf have a direct link to their Steam community market and marketplace.tf pages if you click on the Steam icon or the blue M icon respectively. Once you bring up an item, okay. you should look at the past sales graph, not current sellers. If enough people have oh, sold yeah. an item at a common price point, then great, you have a price for the item. However, for many unpriceable items, you may find that the sales are few. Oh yeah, like that's between, what I was asking. Making it hard to estimate a coherent price. In these cases, kind of like if you can't get almost. a solid price estimate, I wouldn't recommend trading for the item as unpriceable oh, yeah, absolutely. items trading can be common risky stuff. investments. You may like, notice that items on these mark, websites like are listed in real currency, not metal or keys. If and that gotta, seems foreign you know, to you at this time, don't worry. I'll show you guys how to convert between the two in the next video. Part six. I mean, it's math. Selling your items and avoiding scams. Once you've obtained some items, you'll probably want to sell them. That's a In general, plate. I consider there to be two basic methods you can take to get rid of an item. The first is listing your item on the classifieds and hoping that somebody comes to you. To list an item yeah, on Yeah, I mean, that's the easiest thing. Go to your inventory and find the item you want to sell. Here you can specify how much pure you want to sell the item for, as well as add a message to those buying your item. If you want to be competitive with the other sellers, it helps to look at the other classified listings before pricing your item. So it to doesn't do tell this, you what the hop over to the is. item stats page. Once you've done enough I'll reconnaissance, tab, you should yeah, know probably. what you want to list it for. Just type in what you want, hit the list button, and you should be good to go. Now, if somebody okay. sees our listing, they can click on the green button to send us a trade offer. You can also list Hold your up. items on the Steam Community Market or on Marketplace.tf, but, but if you're just tax. learning in the beginning, I'd recommend sticking to Backpack.tf. Yeah, the other way of getting rid of an item margins. is on a trade server. Trade servers are servers dedicated exclusively to trading, where people can buy and really? sell items in real time. To find trade scams. servers, open up the server browser and type in trade or trading, and sort by player count to find full servers. Unfortunately, huh. many people on trade servers don't actually trade, so it might take a few minutes wait, of joining and leaving servers before you find wait, wait. one with a reasonable balance of traders. 
Once you get on the server, he has more time on his an Weasley advertisement, advertisement the making game. sure to be both polite and specific. Ideally, you want to send your advertisement once every 30 seconds or so, so, so that people can see your spam. ad without getting spammed by it. While you can always copy and paste your message every 30 seconds, you will often need to copy other information while trading, so it helps to make it a bind. To do this, oh. make sure the developer console make is enabled by going into item. options, keyboard, and advanced. Then hit the tilde key to bring up the console and type bind, the letter you want to bind the message oh, really? to, and then in quotations, say oh. followed by your message. Now, I thought everyone was just using macro key, keys. It will send your advertisement <laughs> to the chat. If someone is interested in but your items, macros, they can trade so you up by going into the it. trading tab and finding your name on the list. You can also advertise to people using the voice chat, but I've never used it myself, and I don't yeah. think that there's any advantage to using it over text chat. Whenever no, you start negotiating with probably. someone, whether that be on That's a trade girl. server or over Steam chat, you should get into the habit of immediately looking up their backpack on backpack.tf. There are two reasons for this. First, to it makes price have. checking and negotiating far easier. When you have your trading partner's what if it's not updated? up in front of you, like you can quickly find the price of every item they whatever, offer, hours. and this prevents you from accidentally looking up the wrong item. Secondly, this helps you stay safe while trading. It sucks to admit, so you know but the there value. are some people out there that will try and scam your hard-earned items if you're not paying attention. That uh, said, yeah, Backpack.tf will tell you outright if someone is already banned for scamming, so by looking up their backpack on Backpack.tf, you can prevent the vast majority of scams outright. It, to how do does someone actually up, scam you? You first is need just... to find your trading partner's Steam profile like... URL. On Steam, How does somebody scam you? Do this by you? Right just because on you don't know what you're doing and, and hitting the it? copy page URL it's button. Really if you're negotiating well, on a trade server, double good. click on the person's profile picture to copy the URL from the window that pops up. If you're using the Steam mobile app, you should switch to Steam on your web browser since the app doesn't have a URL bar. Once you have the URL on your clipboard, paste it into the backpack.tf search bar. If it doesn't come up immediately, get rid of any text before and after the ID or name, and it should come right on up. Now, hmm. all you have to do to check if they are banned is to look at the box to the right of the text the reading Steam Rep. If it reads wow. Scammer in bright $15, red, it means that they are banned for scamming. Jesus. Simply block the trader and move on. Since block you the catch trader? every Just scammer gone. this way, it helps to know a little bit more in order to avoid scams. I've actually made an entire video on this topic, but to distill that video into a few concrete tips, here are three important pieces of advice. Number one, never click links people may send you. Yeah, don't do Fishing that. Fishing scams are common scams where yeah. malicious actors will send you a link to a fake website and ask you to sign mm -hmm. in with your Steam account. Don't While do that. Steam can't outright never do hijack that. your account if you sign in, they can mess with your trade offers, making it possible for you to accidentally send your items to a scammer instead of a real trader. Number two, Never trade for any items outside of the trade window. If you send somebody an offer without receiving any TF2 items in return, expect to lose your items. Further, oh, yeah. if anyone wants to offer real money for your items, tell them to buy your stuff through Marketplace.tf, which is a safe alternative to other options like PayPal. Number three, yeah. look up everything yourself. Some traders, called sharks, Attempt to take advantage of new that, traders mm, by blatantly lying I'd about item prices in order to get a good deal. Other scammers, called impersonators, will try and impersonate community figures to try and win you over. However, Let me know if, if that you happens look up their if backpack and price to be check me. all items yourself, you shouldn't have an issue identifying and then subsequently blocking these blatant scammers. Part 7. The Conclusion if you've made it this far into the video, then soccer. congratulations. Jokes. At this Concussion. point, you should know enough about the basics of trading in the economy that you're ready to start learning Ooh. about how to make profit for yourself. Join me next time as I delve headfirst into both low Wait, tier and unusual trading, what? teaching you guys how to turn your passion for TF2 into a profit. Until next time, guys, thanks for watching. But then you have the, uh, the unfortunate side. What is this? Of like the game because the game apparently fell off pretty bad. That's a sick outro. I, that was really good. He has a very good voice for this type of content. That is that's sick. Let me know if you want to see more from him. Uh, but yeah, like I'm super into trading. Like I said, I do uh, like personal finance and stock investing and stuff like that, which is just awesome. So I love this. I love that with CS:GO. It's one of the main things I love. But TF2 is even more in debt than like CS:GO was. Uh, but there's no, like, knives or anything. I guess that's one thing kind of sets them apart. And there's, like, strange and 
Well, strange and stat track are pretty much the same thing, but you can. I think you can make. You can't make a stat track in CS:GO, can you? Or there's no reason really to, because uh, an add-on is always worth less when you put it on something than you, if you bought them separately. So I guess that makes sense. I don't know if there is. I don't know if you can make a stat track weapon. I think you might be able to. I just don't think anybody in their right mind would like ever do that. Actually, no, you probably can't do that because then people would like stat track knives or something. No, there's no way they could do that. But stranger fires. So if you is a stranger fire a random thing, like is it any random or not stranger fire? Stranger fire is a kill streak. Um, is there a thing that turns something into an unusual, like it adds an unusual effect, like an add-on? But so isn't there technically maybe some uh, add-ons? If there are unusual add-ons that like are just super super expensive. So you can just, like, add on something. Kind of like um, Rocket League's market. You know? Like I said, I'm really into this kind of stuff. So, like, I know about Rocket League trading and stuff like that. Rocket League trading used to be awesome. And then they kind of did the blueprints. And it kind of fell off the face of the earth. Because, yay, they did that. Oh, man. But, yeah, this video is a little bit outdated. Because I think Marketplace TF is no longer a thing. Like, it is 10 months old. So it is kind of... Uh, relevant, but it's a little bit changed since then. Let me know how it's changed since then, and let me know what other videos you want me to react to. Like, this came literally from a link that was sent in a YouTube comment by uh, Ender Game. Alright? I think it was Ender Game. I think that's your name. Who's also a YouTuber. But, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, check out the gaming channel tomorrow, because we're doing some Jump Academy, and on Sunday we're going to have some weapon stereotypes for, I think... Is it Spy? I think it's Spy, because last week was Sniper. But I hope to see you there. Make sure you're subscribed, and until then, cue the music.